the incubator. Uh, up here is the temperature. That's the humidity that's inside the uh, incubator and then this is house temp, house humidity. Now I just turned this on a few minutes ago. Um, next thing I did is this cool little thing. And if you watch the incubator, turn that up, turn the lights down. I've got control over the lights. All this is is lamp cord with a dimmer switch. That's all it is. Um, plugs into the wall down here. That's the dimmer. This is the light box. It goes to the lights. Uh, this helps me control the temperature a little bit more. Uh, this is the top to the incubator. Brooder. And what I did is if you look here, I put insulation on the top of it because these lights get extremely hot. Yes, I left my tools in here. Um, this is the uh, temperature gauge and this is wireless so it tells me what the temperature is in here and it brings it up here so I can see the temperature. Put that back down here. Um, I'm running the 75 watt and I'm running the 100 watt. Uh, I had this set at three quarters of the power and it brought it up to 94. Um, I put a little coffee cup of water in there. It's kept the uh, humidity about 32%. I'm going to stick another cup, cup, uh, cup of water in there and see what happens. Uh, but right now, uh, this incubator is working fine. Of course, since it's not a cooler, you want it uh, where you're not where it's stable temperature outside. Later on, I'm going to make this into the cooler. Uh, with a cooler. Uh, but now it's big enough for the quail. I can hatch them and I can use this for a brooder box at the same time. Uh, we do like to have a night light on at night. Uh, this gives us the benefit of it gives the living room a nice red glow at night uh, so we can see walking around. Uh, might as well take advantage of the light at night too since we're running a lot of electric with the light bulbs. But right now by tonight I should be able to set this at 99 to 100 degrees and it will set there because uh, as I slowly turn that up it will get, get to a certain temperature and then it just hangs. Uh, I haven't invested over $30 in this. Um, that's including I bought new bulbs, I bought the porcelain uh, light sockets, uh, the temperature gauge, and extension cords which is kind of back there but you can't see um, but this is my incubator slash brooder um, and like I said if it works out great I'm gonna build a couple more of these